Hello, so this is a video of how to make a pom-pom. So, first of all, you will have two sized pom-pom makers like this. Two different sides. Um, it might be a green colour, it might be a yellow colour, it might be a pink colour. They come in all different sizes, but it's, it's all the principle is exactly the same. So you've got one side that's got bobbles, and you've got the other side that's got holes. So they kind of fit in together like that. They don't clip in place, they hold in place. So can you see bubbles one side, holes the other, and they make like a kind of W shape. You want to hold onto one side, first of all. You want to get your wool, the end of your wool. Just find it. <laughs> Pop this underneath your thumb, like so. And wind over the top, so you're securing it like that. All right. Then you want to wind all the way along and fill all of this green space here, okay? So keep winding, you're going under, over, under, over, like that. And you're just winding, winding, winding until you fill all of this. So let's just keep going. You wanna fill all the way to those ends. So you're filling all the way, right the way along to those ends. You want it quite thick, you want to go over, layer over layer. Um, so you're making it quite thick because you want to make a really nice fluffy pom-pom. Probably looking for about that kind of thickness. That's what you want. It's quite evenly spaced, something like that. So, to go over to the other side, you get your pom-pom maker, you flip it over from a W to an M, like that. So you've literally gone like this to there. This piece of wool goes behind the pom-pom maker and in front over the other side. So you're literally going behind, in front. And you're doing exactly the same process that you've done on this side to the other side where you're filling all of the wool all the way along the pom-pom maker. Over in layers, right the way to the, each end. Not going over the clips. Going all the way along, keep going. And you want to use up all of your wool, all of your wool ball. Um, if you've got one of our pom-pom making sets, the whole ball should do one pom-pom. That's the idea. You might have a little bit left, um, but that's kind of what you want. So keep going right the way to the end. When you get to about that kind of length, so you can hold it in your hands, it's about 30 centimetres, 40 centimetres, something like that. You want to snip off from your wool using your scissors, snip off like that. Tuck the end in using the end of your scissors and you're just poking it into the pom-pom so it's hidden like that. Okay, we want to take our pom-pom maker and we want to put it together to make it into a donut. Okay, we want to squeeze these two little green bits together and clip in place, squeeze and clip. So it's like that, so it's not going anywhere. All right, thumb and finger goes in the middle so we keep our fingers out the way so we don't get hurt. Scissors go in the top, like so, and we're snipping all the way around the outside of the circumference of the maker, both sides, all the way around, keeping your fingers in the middle, so they're out the way. So it should look like that. Do not undo it, okay? That's the worst thing you could do, do not undo it. You want to get your piece of string, piece of wool that you just left from the wool ball, and you want to pass it once, all the way around the outside of the pom pom maker until both strings meet at the top about the same length. You want to cross them over, cross the threads over, you want to pull through, pull through again so you're making a double shoelace knot and once you've got this you want to pull really really tight all the way down to the bottom okay. You want to do that another two times so you want three double knots in total to make sure your pom-pom is really, really tight, okay? You don't need to pass it round again in between each one, you simply just need to tie. Then all you need to do is unclip those clips, pull them up away from you, and you grab the two tops, the top of the maker, and you pull the sides down, like that. Give it a bit of a wiggle out, and ta-da, you have a pom-pom. You might want to keep these long threads on if you want to tie it to a key ring or a bag or a shoe or whatever you're doing it for. Um, or if you want, you can cut them off. Um, any other little bits that kind of around the pom-pom, little straggly bits like that one that are a little bit longer than the others, 
you can give a little trim off, give it a little haircut. And then you want to roll the ball in your hand, make it a really lovely firm pom-pom. Ta-da! You have a pom-pom.